Chris here, I hope you're having a good day. I often get a lot of emails and comments on my website and in the YouTube comments, what is my favorite tablet at the moment? I've tested out a lot of Chinese tablets and people say, you know, what would be my pick? What would be the best one I want? Do you think this tablet is better? Do you think this one is better? Well, I really think that my personal favorites have to be these ones I'm just gonna show you here at the moment. And it's only actually two tablets I'm going to show you because why I pick these two is for their value and really the other one because it's just so practical. But I'll start off here with the Teclast X98 Air 3G. For me, this is one of the, still is, even though it was released, I think November last year, it's been going for a, a good eight months or so now, maybe even longer than that probably. It's the first dual boot tablet. Now Teclast did a really good job with this tablet. The build quality is good. Not quite maybe as good as the Cube i6, but it's still up there. It's a really good tablet, and they even upgraded the internal storage to 64 gigabytes. This is one of the favorites. Me personally, if you want a 4x3 tablet that has HDMI out, reasonably good specs, pretty quick, then 4x3 tablet, this is the one. You know, I, I still like that. As of June 29th, the time of recording this video, this is my 4x3 ratio, iPad, Retina, Clone, my favorite one so far. It's, it's a really good tablet. Now, if you want to see benchmarks and all that sort of thing, I will go into that. I have gone into that, sorry, on a lot of other videos that will be linked in the description or the playlist. So do check that out. But I'll just show you what my personal favorite is. So far, the one, the tablet that keep going back to you, the Chinese one, is uh, this one right here. And you might be some, but some of you might be surprised. This is the the Chewy Vi10. Now it has a low resolution screen. It's thirteen sixty six by seven six eight. And I thought that that would be a horrible screen. I wasn't even gonna actually buy this, but I had a lot of users say to me, "Please review it. Please review it." So I eventually got one. And I'm really glad I did because it is such a practical tablet. Now it costs one hundred forty three US, which is a bargain price really for what you get. The key feature with this tablet though, it's got two USB ports on it, full size USB ports, you've got a micro SD card slot. You have the micro SD card slot on the tech glass but you don't have the USB ports, HDMI out. It's overall uh, just really good practical tablet. The tablet itself like this, it's fine and it's good, you know, it's probably one of the quickest Atom Z3736 tablets I have tested. Like it's really good at multitasking and just seems a little bit snappy and faster than all the other ones. I don't really know why, but it's really, really good. Now this here is what really makes it, is the keyboard it comes with. You turn this basic tablet into something like a Surface clone. And once you do this, it just becomes such a practical machine. Such a good tablet. So you have the, the whole case on one, folds up into a real nice, neat package that offers protection and very good portability there. And I just find that typing on it is actually, dare I say, it's better than my Surface 3 because the keys are spaced out. This is for me personally, of course, the Surface 3 has an excellent quality build. It sets the standard. It's, it's the Atom tablet, but it's very expensive. And this here, this is just, you know, it's one, one of my favorites and the tablet I keep going back to. The screen is, is okay, low resolution screen, but it's really fine. I'll just show you now a little bit of multitasking on it and, and what it's like, and the speakers too are good. So I'll just show you here some multitasking. Like I'm running Chrome at the moment with a whole heap of tabs open. I have at least like, I don't know, about 12 or so tabs here. Uh, some of these sites are quite intense sites and uh, data intensive ones. You know, they have a lot of images and things like that. So, but you know, multitasking here, swapping with swapping between the tabs, it's um, it's really quite quick and it's 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 really good. I mean, streaming movies and and YouTube here. I'll just play an example here so you can hear the speakers. Just turn that right up. That's right. It's Gen Exports Three. Stop! You fucking stop! Yeah, I knew you guys would love it. Whoever will be taking questions now. Oh yeah, hi, uh, Graham from Game. So you can hear, I mean, those speakers sound really good and, and just overall a really practical tablet. Now, if you want to see benchmarks and all those kind of details, do check out the link in the description. I'll go into, I have, sorry, gone into that, into a lot of detail there. But that's my favorite tablet for the moment. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video.